little apprehensive, or you just let it all out and just stick with what's been working for you. Yeah, you need to let it all stick up with what's been working for you. You cannot dwell on that one loss. You have to think back to what got you to where you are. Go out there, be aggressive. Don't think about what the other guy is going to do. Think about what you're going to do to him. You know, I was talking to uh, Johnny Campbell yesterday, and he said that he's just, to him, and you can see he believes in this, that he's broken through a different plateau. He's been doing extended training sessions down in Las Vegas with really high-level guys, and he said he just feel the difference. He's much more comfortable, and he's going to be more comfortable here than the young man with Tino. Both fighters wearing the same color trunks. So let's just say it's a matchup of boxers versus briefs, yes, perhaps. Sir. Patino in the briefs and Cupcake Campbell's in the looser fitting trunks. Nice shots in the midsection there. And Tom, uh, you mentioned the streakiness of a Johnny Campbell. He has a separate six fight and five fight win streak on his career. So this is a guy that can get hot at any time and reel off wins. And when you reel off wins, that confidence level rises. He's coming off a win off of Jose Lugo. Yes. That you mentioned. Big fight. Lugo was 4 0 going into that right. bout. Previously undefeated Jose Lugo. And that's one of those things that can get you right back, you know, at the top level of your own confidence. Like, ah, I beat this guy, no one else was able to. That's right. It really is a mental thing. And, you know, they'll say fighting is 90% mental, or people will say that about many things. But if you really think about it, everything is 100% mental. If you reach for a cup, your brain is telling you to reach for that cup. You know, you throw a punch, that is something your brain initiates. It's all mental. This is a mental game. And, and when you go on those streaks, it's a reflection of where your, your mentality is at, where your confidence is at, where your focus is at. Tino was using that underhook and head position and control position. Campbell tried to move off the cage, but Tino wrangles him, keeps him back. The thing a guy like Campbell is going to know in these fights is that Sometimes you're gonna lose positions, sometimes you're gonna lose small battles, and that's okay, we get it back. You accept that and you move on. And that's why these guys are so tough to fight. They don't change their mentality when they're in a bad spot or a good spot. He looks hot here tonight, Johnny Campbell. He, does. he nice looks track. real confident, you're right, Robin. Yeah. He looks he looks like he is locked in. A couple of a kick to the midsection yeah. early, head kick upstairs. And there's oh. a big left. Stepping up forward, and yeah. leads with the right and steps forward into the left. Nicely done by Campbell, then trying with the right and the left, just missing slightly there. Both guys need to be wary of that overhand coming off the, uh, the rear hand. You know, uh, it's Campbell's right overhand, Campbell's left. Campbell used it to enter in and, and corral the thigh. And that's the advantage. You throw the right and you step forward as you throw the left. That step now becomes something he he identifies as a punch threat, and it actually becomes a wrestling entry. You know, based on what we talked about when the bell rang, I thought Mutino would be more of the aggressor, but it really looks like Campbell coming out as if he's the one coming off the loss with something to prove. It's really a different change of pace here. And and what you're doing is, what if you're Campbell, is you're exploiting expectations, right? Expectations are bad. If you expect something and you don't get it, it's a surprise, it's it's deceptive, and that's what he's doing. He's, if you expected him, oh, oh, oh. Nice work on the inside. Campbell overhand left kind of sends Mutino staggering a bit. Mutino's got a straight left in his pocket for Campbell. As Campbell's coming in with giant weaving bombs with stepping feet, you just give him the straight line to the, to the chin. You aim for the sternum and you hit the chin. 90 seconds to go in round number one. Action-packed opening round here. Moutinho is the one that's been controlling the action when they're up against the cage. However, and there really hasn't been a ton of damage out in the open. Each guy's landed shots. A lot of cage wrestling. Great job by Moutinho. Staying on the single leg. Campbell sprawled. He got right back to the double and finished it. A reverse to a reverse to a reverse. And again, that's mental. Just refusing to surrender the position is a mindset. And if we both refuse, the fight keeps going and going. But ultimately, somebody will, will get the dominant position, and that's Moutinho. So far, so good for Moutinho here as he's on top as well. In this position, when you're up against the cage, the guy who has a higher head position is usually going to be the one that's going to win this exchange. If Campbell can sneak his head up like he's doing now, yep. it'll give him an, a, a chance to at least stand up to his feet and post and use his legs, as you can see. Moutinho get his head back up over the top, and now you can see he's controlling the position. So. so Campbell was had one foot on the ground, was going up, and he didn't like what he saw, and he put his feet inside and hooked them to kind of throw away the, the stability of Moutinho. 
but it's still Moutinho's position. And, you know, we were wondering what was going on out there, how he'd, he'd approach it. He may have found the way to win this fight. He really may. You know, I was thinking the exact same thing here. I thought early on this was Campbell's round. I'm not so sure after this last minute here. Moutinho, maybe Tom has stolen the thunder here a bit, and maybe he gets the 10-9 going into round number two. I think so. And even if he doesn't, he got something as important as, a, as winning and uh, winning a round, and that is learning something that he needs. He uh -huh. just learned something that he really needs to win the next two rounds. So even if he didn't win that round, which I believe he probably did, Campbell, uh, he may have won it as far as what he's taken from it. Well, one round in the books here in this Bantamweight battle between Chris Matino and Johnny Campbell. And Robin, I think I agree with your point there. Campbell. Campbell came out strong. We'll see what Martino's corner has to say as we head into round two. This is his neck, right here. Straight up ring, get out. I love watching the body language. Yeah, Sometimes. I can't really hear what he's saying, but I believe there was some very good love advice thrown in there. Dating advice? Sure, dinner plans for after this bout. But I do agree, though, on the, on the larger scale that maybe Matino really needed those last 60 seconds, Robin, to kind of get, to, to get the nerves out of it. Because maybe he was a little bit apprehensive, Tom. You spoke to it during the pre-fight that you can't afford to do that. But it seemed like he may have been a little bit going into this fight. And now maybe that last minute kind of gets him all over the hump a bit. And we'll see if things change here in round two as this bell's about to ring. Chris Matino looking to get back in the win column, taking on the... 29 fight veteran Johnny Campbell here at CES 57. We are live from Twin River Casino Hotel on UFC Fight Pass. Michael Parenti joined by Filthy Tom Lawler and Robin Black bringing you all the action tonight. It's hot and heavy here in round two. So what did we learn if we're Campbell? We learned that if we get the top position, we can, we can win the rounds and we can win the fight. But however, we don't want to be so ornery to get it, over committed to getting it, or else we're gonna get hit on the way in. We still gotta be calm, we still gotta wait or create the opportunity. We have a Southpaw Orthodox matchup here, so. Oh! Oh! oh. Big left not, hand maybe by not Campbell. Much longer. Yeah, that was the stepping right hand to the overhand left. Oh, there's a, a shot to the back and, of the oh, head. He, Campbell looked like yeah. he was gonna go for the arm bar, but Matinho stays on the single leg. Fights back up. I think he lost his mouthpiece. Yes, he did. Yeah, he got hit point. with some uppercuts there with the overhook. And oh. he is hurt for sure. Another left hand going to come over top right. Right. There it There's is. the right. Right to the chin. Matino oh, staggering another trouble. right. Another huge punch. Campbell grasping at his own eye. I'm not sure if he took a punch. I don't know if he got poked. Yeah, may have taken a oh. double. Big left hand. Right Matino's left. down but again. But Matino with another yeah. double leg. And he gets the takedown. You go triangle Campbell here. Campbell go to the triangle yep. choke. Yep. He's got that right arm locked up. Try to control the head, he's pulling down. You can take the left foot and put it in the hip instead, but he doesn't a, need to. He's got it locked up, Moutinho. You want an elbow here. He's gonna try to pull there the arm he across. He's gonna get this, I think. Those elbows will force you to move your arm and then oh, you push the arm across. Moutinho doing a good job of trying to oh stop. Oh my goodness, and that is it. I you don't hate that. It. I don't hate that stoppage no. by the ref. I really don't. Moutinho not complaining whatsoever. No. Those Great elbows, job. he is wobbly. I like this guy. Yeah, beautiful job. Johnny Campbell, fantastic on his back, yeah. stayed poised. I thought also some poise by Matino to really rebound from those shots that he ate. Campbell was just pointing to us that he was poked in yes. the eye and couldn't see out of the eye through that entire last sequence. Well, he saw just enough to land seven or eight unanswered elbows right to the forehead, and the referee jumps in at the right time and stops it. Big win for Johnny Campbell, who again taking down a top prospect here at CES 57. What a fight. There were two not there were two knockdowns as well. So we're gonna get to see, yes, right here. You're gonna see right to left, stepping right, bing, Bang. left hook. And the step is what set that left hook up. And that happened twice. The other time, I believe, it was the opposite sequence. But uh, dropped him with that one, and then was right there, Tom. You mentioned he was going to go for the armbar. And right here, hook, hook. He was poked in the eye. That eye poke. Yeah, he mentioned that. Boom, boom. And it was again right, left. That same combination of weapons worked over and over again for him. And then comes down, his man is hurt, and he was able to put him in a triangle. Yeah, that's some great toughness by Johnny Campbell, who could barely see out of the eye to still land the one-two combo that more or less spelled the beginning of the event for Chris Patino. Just a great job by Johnny Campbell. That is fantastic. Love it. Another big victory again for the veteran and a tough hard luck loss for Patino, who now may have some soul searching to do 
We'll see how that goes moving forward. But another big victory for Cupcakes Campbell. 18th win as a pro. Let me tell you something. You stay in this fight game that long. You don't win 18 fights by accident. Campbell is a warrior, and he showed it again here tonight in his third appearance with CES MMA. Let's send it up to our cage announcer, Adam Palacio, for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, one minute, 45 seconds into round number two by TKO.